Hey everybody, it's Casual Boops coming at you with another video, and today I want to cover Battle Pass Season 4. Uh, it was just released, or the information was just released on uh, this morning here, if, uh, which, which I guess if you're reading this or watching this today, uh, when it's released, it's the 11th of March, and I think it starts on uh, the 15th of March and goes all the way to June. Um, so this is going to be kind of a longer video. I'm going to use the, uh, the chapter selections in YouTube. Please feel free to click to the part that interests you. Um, it's going, I'm going to go over the basics, I'm going to go over the rewards, I'm going to go over the part that I think is the cash grab, and I'm going to go over what I think could be an easy solution. So, those are the things. Um, Alright, so, without further ado, the basics. What is the Battle Pass? Why does it matter? Why should you care? Um, this is the fourth season of Battle Pass, and uh, I'm sure you're familiar, maybe you're not familiar, lots of games are doing Battle Passes these days. The basics are, uh, you play the game, <laughs> and you get free stuff. And that's great, right? Uh, there's a lot of detail here that doesn't... I mean, basically play good and you get points. And those points will... Um, I don't want to get down to the part that's relevant. Those points will get you progress. And, uh, okay, let me... God, articles. Okay, so in your, in your garage, it sort of looks like... The rewards will look sort of like this. The progress bar will look like this. Um, so you see it's 50 points to get to the first stage or something like that. So as you play the game, if you play well after each game, you'll get points. And those points will add up and they'll get you different, uh, um, would these be levels? Levels within each stage. Now this time is different than previous times, where previous times there was one stage and that was it. And it was like 45 or 50 levels. Now this is three stages. And I don't know if there's specific times or whatever. Uh, there's this, you know, the white desert stage, the step beyond stage, and the back in action stage. It doesn't matter. The point is you play the game, you get the points, and the points get you these rewards. Now, if you don't do anything and you just play the game, you get the base rewards, which is, you know, some 2D styles, and I'll, I'll get into the rewards later. Uh, and then if you pay money for an improved pass, you get all of this stuff, and then also all of this stuff. So... They've done this before, and this is fine. I actually really like this model um, because you don't have to do anything. You can just play the game and you're getting free stuff, and that's cool. I like that. Um, the big difference here is that now, previous years have had um, Steel Hunter and... Uh, what is it? Steel Hunter and Frontline have been part of the Expedition, where you play those game modes and you get tokens within those game modes and you, re you redeem those tokens for, for reward tanks, like the AE Phase 1, the Char Futur... Four, I think it is, and then the, um, there's another one I'm forgetting, but it, whatever. Um, oh, actually, you know what? It's probably here at the bottom. Uh, oh, yes, and then the, the Object 777 that's total garbage. Uh, that's why I forgot what it was. Uh, so in this one, there are also two new tanks, and that's going to be the subject of this entire video. Uh, but again, I'll get to that later. So you play the game, you get the to- and, oh, so, um, I'm sorry. Um, so now, in this Battle Pass, there is no Expedition. It's all through the Battle Pass. You can play the game and get points, and if you play Steel Hunter, you will get points in the Battle Pass for playing Steel Hunter. Uh, which, let me see here. There's a... Uh, yeah, if you come in first place in a game of Steel Hunter, you get 20 Battle Pass points, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you like the game mode, this will help you get... Uh, if you're good at the game mode, it'll get you uh, a pretty good head start on, on uh, the Battle Pass. I think that's positive. Um, I guess some nuances here. It's for tier 6 tanks and up, and <clears throat> each tank has a point limit, right? So you can play your KV-2 until you get 100 points. And then once you've already got 100 points earned on the KV-2, you get a little bonus for finishing off that tank. Good job. And then you can't earn any more tank, any more points in the battle pass from that tank. So they're trying to get you to uh, have a variety of tanks at your disposal. Uh, and the, the cap for how many points you can earn goes up by the tier, like tier 7s have 250. And then they give you an even bigger bonus when you finish it off. So tier 10s have a 700 point cap, and then you get 35 points for finishing it off. And then the core vehicles, these three vehicles they're featuring, have a thousand point cap. And in, so they're trying to incentivize you to play these tanks because they have a better cap or something. And the one two one is fun. It's good stuff. So so that's kind of what's going on. Um, and then also the feature tanks are the ones that get the 3D styles, but I'll talk about that in a second. So it's basically play the tanks and you get free stuff. And that sounds great. Um, okay, so... Phase two. Let's see. I want to make sure I covered everything. I've got a little spreadsheet here. Okay. Next, next thing. Phase two. The rewards. What are the rewards? Um, 
So you get a bunch of 2D styles, which is cool. Um, God, where is it? 2D styles that look neat. Uh, yeah, here's some of those pictures. You can click through the article yourself and see if you want. A bunch of 2D styles that look neat. Um, and I don't think you need to pay money to get these things. This is just whatever. Uh, and then also you get 3D styles for the tanks that are the core ones here. You can see this one for the 705A, um, which I believe has a snowmobile on the back. Yeah, yes it does. That's excellent. Uh, and then the 121 has, show it to me, a giant forky thing in the front. That's pretty neat. And uh, a Zamboni on the back or whatever that is. Or is that a, what is that? Is it? It looks like a Zamboni. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Uh, and then the E3 has a bunch of missiles. Lol. Um, one thing that is notable is that the, I guess, this one uh, for this particular, what the way they're doing this is that it's not just the style in itself. The style will build up somehow. And it's not exactly clear, and I don't really care. Uh, about the nuances, uh, but the gist is you will start with uh, something like this 3D style and then as you level up to finish it, you'll get more and more shit on your tank, basically. Just more stuff. And then by the end, it'll look like this. So that's the gist. Um, let me see here. Yeah, so 2D styles, 3D styles, you get bounty equipment, which is going to be better than your standard equipment. Uh, it does cost 3 million. Here we go. Here's the full list of bounty equipment. You can get a bounty aiming unit which is this one which is new uh rammer and why okay bounty rammers in there twice coding is really hard building websites is tricky um <laughs> gun laying drive optics vertical stabilizer uh protection technology i think that's the oh that's the uh the 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 part where the you don't get ammo racked i forget the name of it because it's early right now um and then a rotation mechanism and stuff and these are going to be better than if you had like standard vents um gosh where if you had standard vent you know what this 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 one of these rammers is supposed to be events because bounty vents are a thing i think uh but if, if the point is they're slightly better than whatever the like if you have a gun lane drive and you put it in the improved slot of your tank it's still not going to be as good as the bounty gun lane drive uh so that's they're they're good but they also take three million credits to upgrade to their most powerful uh state right so there's um there's a there's a cost there right but they are good uh and then the improve aiming uh is a new one which maybe that will make this useful i don't know say eight percent maybe that's maybe that's past the threshold where it's useful who knows um okay and then you also get uh standard equipment too which is cool uh save some credits and then you get some some commanders uh, if you finish the things you get the three commanders that are yeah that are featured this is just all over this website like all over this article i don't know how you'd it's just, I don't know, welcome to publishing a novel. Um, but yes, the rewards are basically your three commanders uh, for presumably for their each individual nations. A lot of times what you can do is this guy will be for, what is this? This will be a Soviet commander. This will be your American commander. And this will be your Chinese commander. You can recruit them to any tank. And it's not clear. Oh, yes. Each crew has a brothers in arms as a zero skill perk and enough XP to train two more skills or perks. So that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully this doesn't go the way the Dodo when uh, Crew 2.0 comes around, but yeah, this is a neat thing. So for a free to play player, you can get some free crew members, commanders, for your tanks that are in American or Soviet or Chinese tanks. So that's neat. Um, and then also you get, like I said, you get all the X, you get all these rewards, you can click through and, sh and, uh, and see all the various different things. Uh, and you get more rewards if you pay money, and so on and so forth. And okay, and then the tokens, right? So you'll notice you get tokens. All right. So if we're scrolling along and you're doing the pass thing and you're doing it, and then level 10 comes along, and then if you buy the pass, you get a token. But if you don't buy the pass, you don't get a token. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna keep going. And then you get to level 20. And if you don't buy a pass, you still you'd still get a token, and then you get your your I guess it'd be your third token if you had bought the pass. So I'll get to this later, but the point is you get tokens and you get you, you get stuff and you get more stuff if you buy the pass, which costs, I don't remember how much, 2,500 gold or something like that. And if you're lazy, you can just throw a bunch of money at the screen and, and skip a bunch of, uh, of the stages too. So that's the thing. Um, 
Okay, so the cash grab portion of this. Uh, the improved pass, the part where you can pay money to get the improved pass and get extra rewards, that's not new. And I actually don't take issue with that at all because you, there's nothing here, there's nothing in the improved passes that you're getting that you can't also get just by playing the game. Or it was this way before, right? You, you um, Maybe you didn't get the 3D style, but that's fine, whatever. It's, uh, it's not like, um, there's not a gameplay advantage. Right, you got you used to get more improved equipment by buying the pass, and that's that's a little whatever. But you could still get improved equipment from not by not paying any money. So this the buying of the improved pass, I'm okay with. Um, you can buy progress, right? You can you can spend gold, which is money, and you can buy progress and skip stages, and that's that's also not new. And I also don't take issue with that because that's again, this is all just stuff that you could get anyways. So this is fine. Um, the part where I take issue is the fact that if you don't pay money to get the improved pass, and I, I went through and I clicked through this and, and made sure I wasn't seeing things, you can only get nine tokens, right? If you pay for the improved pass, you will get 18 tokens. Now, why is this relevant? Because the rewards are also, uh, they're all the re previous rewards. This takes nine tokens, this takes nine tokens, this takes nine tokens. So if you don't pay any money, you can get nine tokens and get one of these tanks that's been previously released. I've played them all. The AE phase one is basically like a, it's like an M103 with, but with a turret that doesn't suck. It's a good tank. The Char Futur is like a, is like a tier nine bat jet, but with a long intra, intra clip. It's fun, it's a good tank. The 777 is trash. Um, these two tanks are new, and this one costs 12 tokens, and this one costs 18 tokens. And you notice both of those are better than nine tokens. So if you don't pay money, you don't get access to either of these two new tanks. Um, I, I, I guess they're on Tanks GG. At some point, I'll probably do a review video on them to determine and you know, tell you what whether you need to know what you need to know about these things, uh, or maybe I'll just ignore them because if the war gaming doesn't change this, I'm not I'm not. Um, going to endorse this. This is total crap. So if this is going to stay how it is, this is the last you're going to hear me talk about these tanks. But if they change things, then I'll talk about it with them and, and help promote their event. But yes, if you don't pay money, you don't get the 12 tokens to get yourself a K91, and you certainly don't get the 18 tokens to get a Kunzi Panzer. Um, and so this is the part where I take issue. Now you need to pay money to get these things. And then when you pay money to get the improved pass, then you can pay money to get the, get the tokens right away. So basically, you're throw, if you throw enough money at the screen, you can basically buy a tier nine reward vehicle instantaneously by you know buying the pass and then buying a bunch of stages and then boom, you've got a tank. So like, uh, like if you're gonna hide um, a tank behind a paywall, like if you like, I don't know, anyway, so, so that's the issue. You, you can't even get this new content, right? And what the difference is, is previously they had done this, done something similar, but it was with 3D styles, right? You had, I think one was for the Super Conqueror and one was, I don't know, there were a bunch of tanks where like it was the Skoda and the, Patton? Skoda and the Patton were two, where if you didn't have the uh, improved pass and you finished the event, you could pick one of the two styles and then the other one you'd miss out on. But that's okay, because those are just 3D styles. And if you bought if you bought the pass, you could get both. In this case, if you don't buy things, you can't get either one. And tokens, uh, or I'm sorry, and tanks, this is, this is in-game content. This is not just a skin, this is a tank that you can't get without buying and it's a tier nine. So that's the part, that's the part that's different and I think it's total crap. Uh, so the solution, what is the solution to this problem? Um, I think that Wargaming needs to adjust the token earning and the costs of these tanks so that if you grind the whole thing, if you grind out your, you know, grind your face off, and it is going to be a grind. I haven't done the math on exactly how many points and how many battles and blah, 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 but suffice to say that they want you to play the game. And I think that if you grind to the end, you should be able to pick one of the two new tanks uh, without having to pay money. Then I think it should be uh, such that if you grind to the end and then pay for the improved pass, then you can get both, right? That I think would be fair because you have the option of getting one or the other, whichever one you want. And then if you buy the pass, then you can get both because then there's nothing that you could get as a free to, uh, nothing that you could get by paying money that you couldn't get by grinding. And that is the only reason that I don't think this game is entirely pay to win. I know this is going to be a, a, a whole like topic, but like most of this game so far has been 
pay to progress faster. There's nothing that you can't get. There's nothing in this game that you can't get uh, without paying money, except for premium tanks, right? So, uh, tier eight premium tanks, and um, you know you can grind to all the things. You can get all the fancy stuff. You don't even need to pay for premium time to get to go in clan wars and get the tier ten reward tanks. All of that stuff you can get by grinding. This is the first time where they've gated stuff like this new content that's a tank behind grinding and costing money and here's the thing the kicker is it's a tier 9 right if you're if you're gonna gate tier 9 tanks behind a paywall that's just selling tier 9 tanks that's not special that's just that's just selling tanks with ex selling tier 9 tanks with extra steps so this is absolute crap and this is a slippery slope that I don't agree with. And if this is the way World of Tanks is going to progress down the future, I don't know that I want to play this game uh, much longer. So have some principles, Wargaming, and pull your heads out of your butts, please. This is not the way to do things. It's not the way it has done. It's not the way that you have done things in the past. Also, not every event needs to be a cash grab. Like, you guys are making money, you're selling tanks, and that's all great. Not every single event needs to milk the cow as hard as it possibly can, right? That's just my opinion. Like, the black market was great. You've probably drained all kinds of stuff out of the economy. Maybe maybe take a little break, and maybe don't, maybe don't, maybe don't do this. Anyways, I don't know if you can tell, guys. I'm a little frustrated. So, <sighs> anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.